Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're looking at Luke chapter 2. As we think of this chapter and think of chapter 1 along with it, we know that Luke gives more details, more details and descriptions of the birth, uh, actual birth of Jesus Christ than any other gospel account. Most of our Christmas stories and songs seem to come from Luke chapter 2 that we're looking at even now. And uh, what an interesting, interesting chapter that gives us the story of that holy night. My favorite Christian Christmas hymn must be, Oh, holy night, oh, holy night. And what a special holy night it was when God robes himself in flesh and comes and is born of the Virgin Mary in a stable inside, outside the city or right around the city of Bethlehem. And so we are just looking forward to looking at this chapter already. And we look here in Luke chapter 2, we already talked about the details of uh, Joseph. Joseph and Mary traveling from Nazareth down to Bethlehem and then no room for them in the end. And as I've been thinking about what we talked about yesterday, no room for Jesus, no room for them in the end, no room for Mary and Joseph to have the little baby in the end in a, in a safe place, in a, in a clean place, but they had to go to a stable. No room for Jesus. I couldn't help but think even today about that verse in John chapter 1 that says that Jesus, he came into the world, he came to his own, but his own received him not. But as many as receive him, he gives them the power and authority to become the children of God, John chapter 1 verse 12. And, and as I think of that, I think of the fact that the fact that we do not make room for Jesus in our lives today. There's no room for him in politics, there's no room for him in our country. Country. There's no room for him in our media. There's no room for him in our schools. Uh, there's no room for him in many of the lives of Christians. We, we don't make room for Jesus to read the Bible faithfully and regularly every day. We don't read, we don't take time for Jesus to go to his house, his place of worship on the Lord's day, the church the church that he loved and gave himself for. We don't make room to serve him throughout the week and give our funds and monies to missions to tell other people in the world about Jesus. I mean, the, the sad thing is that we still are not making room for Jesus, even in our own lives, in our own hearts. He's our last thought, or he's the one we run to like a jack-in-the-box and put in our quarter and hope he pops out and rescues us from a current issue or problem that we're having. Oh, how sad that is. No room for Jesus. And so today, I'm, I'm just believing that God's Holy Spirit would speak to some of our hearts that as believers, we're not reading our Bibles. We're not going to church. We're not being a witness to our friends and neighbors and loved ones around us. We're not taking time to pray and get on our knees before a holy God and ask for forgiveness and pray for those around us and protect our families through prayer. Oh, today, may the grace of God come upon us to make room for Jesus. He came to his own, but his own received him not. And today he's coming to you and he's coming to me. He's coming to our countries. He's coming to others, but they make no room for him to come into their lives and change everything. Because my friend, when you interact with Jesus and you give him the sovereignty that he calls for in your life and you make him Lord, everything changes. So I encourage you today, make room for Jesus. Open up your life, open up your heart. Make sure that you have a place for him. I, I love what takes place when the angels see Jesus. The glory of God shows up to these shepherds there when the angels, when the shepherds see Jesus in these next verses, the glory of God shows up. And I'm telling you, when Jesus shows up, the glory of God shows up. That's what John said in John chapter 1. He says, And the Word became flesh and tabernacled amongst us, made a tent amongst us, came to dwell amongst us, and we beheld His glory. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. My friend, He's ready to reveal His glory to you today. Will you make room for Jesus? God bless you, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.